Hello ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to talk about time management and something everybody kind of needs to know how to do and granted, even I have trouble with time management so this is the skill that always keeps on keeps on uh, going and learning. So what do we need to do with this? And basically we need to figure out how to manage time as well as money. And with time, it's kind of hard, and well, like spending money, sometimes you got something budgeted and you're like, okay, I got excess. Oh, that's great. I could do whatever I want. And then there's other times you're going, I don't have time to do anything. This is live. So we've got to figure out how to, how to handle it properly. Now, the techniques, I'm going to do the paper. You can use your phone or you can use both. And actually what I would do is do it on paper, kind of get a scratch piece of paper, you know, eight and a half by 11, do, you know, figure out what your schedule is. And if you want to transfer it to your phone or tablet, or Chromebook and put it on your calendar, that is great. And actually, I could do, show you how to do that later if you guys want me to. But uh, for this assignment, I want you guys to do it on paper. So what I want you guys to do is make uh, draw lines to make seven columns, and act, or eight, make the one on the left-hand side very small so you can put times on there. And label each column with the days of the week, Monday, uh, Sunday through Saturday, or Monday through Sunday however you want to deal with this. Now, actually going down, the number of uh, rows you have is going to depend upon how, what time you wake up, what time you want to go to bed, um, do you want to have it every hour or every half hour, it's all up to you. Now, what I'm going to do later on in this video is I'm going to show you one idea based on the hour and kind of, uh, it's kind of rough. But it should give you an idea of what we, what I'm looking for and what I want you guys to do. Now on and then, so when we end up doing your schedule, oh, you, we want to do your work. What times do you uh, do your work? Get that schedule down. When do you usually go to bed? When is family time? When do you go to church? When do, uh, do you bowl? Do you participate in a Activity after school. Do you are you on a sport? Tennis, basketball, football, band. All those times you have to come together, and you, and then you go figure in homework, schoolwork. Sometimes some classes are easy. Sometimes it's going to take a lot. Some classes take like mine. It's going to take a little bit more time than other classes. So if you do it a half hour turn time, that I want you to block off seven thirty three. Three, Monday through Friday. This is the school. This is our time. This is when we kind of go, we expect you to do school activities, academic activities. Um, you got a half hour for lunch, and then you divide this block into periods, and you know, you got first hour, you know, so on and so forth. We'll get the schedule up for you guys uh, also on the in classroom, but this is how I want you to do this. Now, if you want to block this into individual blocks, that's fine. If you just want to say school from 7.30 to 3, that's fine too. Now, the hard part, putting your chores, putting you when you eat dinner, putting in family time, other responsibilities. This is what, so you need to kind of schedule this out. Now, add time for homework. Add the if you have a CEP C C e course, you need to add at least additional three hours per week. Now, this is just average. Some folks don't need as much. Some people need more. This is up to you. Yeah, you need to block this in. Now, some classes need more some weeks than others, so you're going to get to kind of move this around. And I would not specify each homework so if you got five if you see so you're in seven classes five of them are academic so at least put in 15 hours of homework per week that includes this, all these academics and any other classes you may have some of you guys practice for bands some of you guys have at are in the weight room some of you guys are in a class you may not have any homework that's great but you still need to kind of give you guys about 15 extra hours Per week and put it in in your in your schedule. Now include the weekends. 
if you're working on the weekends, put that in. If you, like I said, while you guys go to church, go to put that in there as well. Schedule it all out. Now this is why if you want to use your, if you want to do this on your phone, do it. So you can use the calendar app, Google Calendar, whatever. Just um, some people are better on a piece of paper and pen. Some pe people are better on a computer. Now this is what I've done for you guys as a example. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hi highlight the various parts of this schedule. So let's see what color is my pen right now. Let's go with magenta. Let's go. This is my traveling time. So, oh, let's go to school. So six seven. School, school starts at seven fifty five, but you know eight o'clock. All of this is school. All of this is is what I'm going to handle for school. From eight to three, eight to three. This is school, and all of this is my school time. Now, you notice I didn't really say when each class is, but you get the general idea. If you want to go that more detail, you can. I'm not stopping you. All right, blue. We're going to have. I'm going to show this as practice. You notice I got three days of practice. It is one from uh, say four to five. I'm practicing on Tuesdays and Thursdays, just for an hour, and then I have a bigger practice between eight and uh, ten thirty. So this is going to. And this, let's see, come over here. Now, let's see. Let's do red. We'll talk about all these different colors in a minute. Red, I'm going to specify red as family time and dinner. So this is kind of the two times that basically I don't want to mess with. So basically these times during during the week, I'm going to be pretty much not available because I'm dealing with my with, with dinner as a family, we're having family time, or you know, this is up to you. If this is me, you may not have that family, you may do something else. That is fine. You may be working, you have to, and you got other things you have to do. That is fine. You just have to schedule it out. Now, here's the thing. As we're going through this, is that now I, besides the purple, I'm going to show you uh, in green other school activities. This what I schedule for school outside. Of, so, during 25 and 30, I'm doing something with school. If I don't have anything, hey, that's great. You know, it's between eight and nine. I gotta deal with school. Now I'm gonna switch colors. That's something we're gonna see a little bit better. Pen color, gray, yellow. Have we done sand? Okay, I am going to block out. This is my free time. 
I'll buy the cover chores as well. Have some self time. This time's for you. I'm in bed, so this is bedtime. So this stuff between 7.30 and 9. You know, guys, this is the time where it's say, oh, I need some more time for homework. Do it when you during these times when you have it free. If you don't have the homework, you got other things to do. This is what I mean by planning, and this is just a rough sketch. You guys will probably have a lot more because you're in school. If you go to college, you gotta work on getting this straight. So this is what I want to see. Your schedule. If you don't work, I don't care where you work. Just put work down. Yeah, you know, I don't need to know that specific, but I do know need to know when you are planning to do your homework. If you're working, that's fine. If you got family time, that's fine. If you got other chores, that's fine. If you know when are you doing the homework? And so, if we're having trouble with this, I could say, okay. This is what we need to do to help you succeed, not only in high school, but when you go to college and go to life. This is what we want to do. If you have any questions on this, let me know. This is what Wednesday is for and, and Thursday. This is due first, then the, then the um, uh, simulations. If you have any questions, let me know.